In this class, we will study about the tools for converting 2D shapes into 3D objects. Let's begin the class. We're going to learn about these tools, Extrude, Bevel, and Bevel Profile. These tools are modifiers and are applied to objects. Let's begin with the Extrude modifier. This modifier extrudes material from shapes. We can use it to create a great number of geometries for floor plans, such as outside walls, walls, and other elements for mock-ups. There are two parameters in this tool. Amount defines the extrusion height, and segments assign segments for the extrusion action. We can see these segments by pressing the F4 key or by pressing the Shading Menu Label option. We can see how the wall segments help define the position of the windows in this model. After learning about the Extrude modifier, now let's learn more about the Bevel modifier. We can extrude three levels and even change the thickness of each one. The height changes the extrusion height, and the outline field changes the extrusion thickness. See how it works. See how easy it is to model a simple table. Now, let's go on to the bevel profile. This extrudes material from a profile. See the example in the scene. Here you see a rectangle and a profile in a line shape. Select the rectangle. Select the bevel profile from the list of modifiers. This is pick profile here. Click it and after that click the profile shape in the scene. See how the shape conforms to the entire rectangle. This tool helps you to create baseboards and insets in the gypsum. We can see the plus symbol on the list of modifiers next to the modifier name. Click the Profile Gizmo sub-level. Now let's rotate the profile displayed in orange and see how it acts. See how many formats we created just from two shapes. So in this class we studied about the main conversion commands. From now on we'll start creating modified objects for the designs.